Hi, Dr. Jen Bennett here, social media specialist at iBloom. And today I am really excited to share with you some of my top tips when it comes to learning how to speak the language of your ideal clients. This is actually a question that I get asked quite often. How can I connect with my ideal clients on social media? How can I speak in such a way that will cause them to want to connect and engage with me? And so today, Today, I want to share with you some of my five top tips, things that you can do that will help you speak the language of your ideal clients. So number one is very simple. Just ask them. Ask your target audience, what questions do you have? How can I help you? What questions can I answer? And I promise you, if you ask them that, they will share with you the questions that they have. And this is going to give you insight into who they are and the language that they're speaking and the things that they want to know more about. For instance, this question that I'm answering right now is actually based off of a response I got to a question that I asked in a group. I asked, I'm going to be recording some questions or some videos this week. What questions do you have? How can I help you? And the responses that I got were amazing. And this was one of the questions that were asked, that was asked, how can I know and learn the language of my ideal client? So don't be afraid to ask your target audience what it is that they want to learn more about. Number two, Ask them, what are some of your favorite magazines? What magazines do you enjoy reading? And then when they tell you, head on over to your bookstore and buy those magazines and just start flipping through the magazines and looking at the stories and the words that are used in those stories. Also pay very close attention to the cover of the magazine. I can tell you, you will get some great ideas from the cover of the magazine based on the headlines that they are using. These are professionals that are putting these magazines together and they spend a lot of time studying their target audience. So those headlines that they're using on the cover of the magazine are headlines that they know are going to grab the attention of their target audience. So if your audience is telling you that those are the magazines that they read Pay attention to those headlines because those are words. That's the language of your target audience. And I'll tell you this, those headlines are fantastic for social media advertising. That's a great way to really draw your target audience in. Number three, ask your audience, what are some of your favorite books? And then when they tell you what some of their favorite books are, head on over to Amazon and read the reviews. What are people saying about that book. I'll tell you, in those reviews, you're going to see the language of your target audience. You're going to see the questions that they have. You're going to see the concerns that they have. You are going to see the way they speak and the words that they're using. And when you're going through those reviews, make sure you have a pad of paper with you and you are just writing down those key words that are um, you know, sticking out to you. And then what you can do with those keywords is you can bring them together in a blog post, headlines, for advertising, copy for your social media platforms. Those reviews are like gold. Number four, check out your Facebook and Twitter analytics. Believe it or not, this is an area where a lot of business owners um, are really just missing the boat. Um, those analytics are going to tell you so much information about your ideal client. Look specifically to see what posts and what tweets are getting the most engagement because that right there is going to tell you the posts that are speaking to the heart of your target audience. And when you know what posts are getting the most engagement, then you can start creating even more posts like that. And then number five, listen. This is actually one of the things that as business owners, we don't take the time to do but it is a must. We have to take the time to listen. Recently, I attended an online conference and really, I spent the majority of my time listening in the chat room. I knew that my target audience was going to be at this online conference. So I spent the majority of my time 
watching the chat room and every time questions came up guess what i did i wrote those questions down because that was my target audience speaking to me i wrote those questions down and then i turned those questions into blog posts and into video tips and into social media posts and that allowed me to reach the heart of my target audience because i was speaking their language i was answering the questions that they have so Learning the language of your ideal client is really not that difficult at all. Ask them. Ask them what magazines they're reading. Ask them what books they read. Check out your analytics and then listen and see what they're saying. See what questions they're asking. And I promise you, if you take these five tips to heart, you're going to learn the language of your ideal client in no time. Thanks so much. Have a great day.